Hello and welcome. My name's Chuck. I'm Old Man Tarot. I do daily tarot readings for our YouTube crowd. Every day we ask the cards, what are our opportunities for today? This will be a reading for Christmas Eve, Friday, December 24th, 2021. What are our opportunities for Christmas Eve, Friday, December 24th? I hope you have all your Christmas shopping done. I think I do. I have to do some wrapping. Uh, if I do do daily readings, if you like what you see here, please do like and subscribe and hit the notification bell. That way you won't miss any of our daily readings. Let's see what the cards have to say for Christmas Eve. First card for today is the King of Rods. We have a good feeling when we wake up today. We have the energy of the King. We're very, uh, ex, ex, uh, it's an external energy. We're very focused. We're very, uh, feel very authoritative. Uh, the rods are your passions, uh, your, your, um, your ideas. So you have strong, passionate ideas. Looks like he's heading strongly, boldly to the future. He has a lot of courage. He has a lot of uh, fire inside of him. So you wake up with some uh, bold ideas. I think looking at how to move towards the future. Uh, you're going to have a lot of courage to do that. And you're going to have a very clear path. You have sunshine. You know where you're going. You have some clear thoughts about the future. And you're going to feel very, uh, very much have the king's energy inside of you. Uh, the Fool is the second card today. Uh, to, uh, if you're ready for a uh, look into the future, the Fool is ready for an adventure. Uh, he's going to take off. He's ready to go. So if you're looking, uh, if you have a passionate thought about the future, now's the time to take a chance on it. The Fool just wants to go. He's off for an adventure. He's not really, uh, he is prepared. He packed a few things, but he doesn't have any shoes on. Um, you know, he's not really worried about the consequences. He's just ready to go out, have some fun, and have an adventure today. So, uh, you know, midway through the day, you're going to be thinking about having some type of an adventure. Uh, next card is the Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords indicates uh, someone sneaking around, uh, taking out, maybe stealing some money, uh, going out the back window. Uh, when I see this card, I always recommend check your bank accounts or your credit card. Just make sure everything's in order. Somebody's being sneaky uh, with some of your stuff, some of your thoughts, some of your goods. Um, they know what they're doing. They're sneaking out the back window. There may be some secrets around um, also. Uh, so uh, midway through the day, uh, watch your money and make sure there if anyone's uh, being sneaky around you. Fourth card for the day is the Six of Swords. Six of Swords indicates you're going on a trip somewhere. Uh, you're taking your thoughts, your swords with you. Uh, you have a lot of support. You have a friend here. You have a raft. You have a very clear path. Uh, the water is very calm. Uh, this could be a long trip coming up that you're taking. Uh, you're heading to the future. Again, it's just another future card. I think the King of Rods is looking to the future as well. The Fool's off on an adventure to the future. So I think that whatever path you have to the future is very clear. It may be a longer trip. It may not go as quickly as you want to, but it's going to go very smoothly. You see exactly where you're going, and you have a lot of support for this trip too. Final card for Christmas Eve is the Ten of Swords. Oh, uh, well, this card indicates you're going to end the day. Something didn't turn out quite the way you thought it was going to. You had a lot of plans. You had a, th a lot of thoughts about the way something was going to happen. It just didn't turn out that way. It hurt you. These, uh, you know, you had a planned on this, and it's something that didn't turn out the way you wanted it to. Uh, but you're able to get up and walk away with it. Um, but, you know, it does hurt your feelings a little bit late in the day. So... Christmas Eve looks like a fine day. You wake up with the energy of the king. You have a lot of thoughts about, I think, your future. You're very passionate about your future. You're thinking about taking a new adventure. Uh, now's the time to do so. Uh, you're thinking about your future and an adventure. You're very passionate about these, uh, these thoughts and your adventure. Uh, you're also thinking about taking a long trip. Uh, this could possibly be a trip to the future. Uh, this is going to you know, show you where you're going. You have a very long, uh, you have a very clear path. You have a lot of support for this trip. You're going to make it uh, easily. It's just going to take a little longer than you thought. I think the Seven of Swords represents this Ten of Swords, too. I think uh, midway through the day, yeah, you're going to figure out somebody's not been truthful with you, maybe stealing something from you, maybe stealing some of your thoughts, and that hurts your feelings. Um, you realize that's, uh, that this person's been sneaky. That hurts your feelings late in the day. But it's not an ending. You're able to get up and you walk away uh, and get ready for Christmas because you have an adventure coming. My name's Chuck. I'm Old Man Terra. I hope you have a great holiday and a Merry Christmas. See you tomorrow.